Okay, for the next few minutes, I'd hope you'd keep an open mind, and then we're going to understand how simple Mother Nature really is. First, I'm going to show you a couple magnets underneath the supercell. It's extra sensitive, so we get a better viewing. So, remember I've told you that gravity doesn't exist? There's no difference between dielectric acceleration and gravity. And then I'm going to point you to a link towards a supercomputer generated image by NASA of two stars accelerating towards each other. But then I'll point out something to you in the next video where I'll have my face talking in front of the camera and then we're going to discuss what's going on. So right now, let's first take a look at something. Here we have one magnet. Okay, here we have another. Now I want you to notice something right here. Now you see between this magnet and the other magnet we actually have right here right these three black spots the center black spot let me do a focus check here again really check quick there we go between these see here's one pole of the magnet and here's the other pole okay you'll notice what we have here this middle black spot we have two magnets accelerating towards each other now they're dissimilar um, powers but there is a pole if you will to keep things really, really simple, where these two things are accelerating towards each other. You'll notice it right here as we get a little closer. You see that the, now this is two poles of the magnet over here on the left side, but if you take the black spot on the far right and then the black spot just left of that, there's nothing there. That is the gap between these two magnets. It looks just like a pole, doesn't it? Except these are the two magnets that are accelerating towards one another. So, and the video that I like to point you to, I like to point out the fact that uh, it's generated by a supercomputer of two stars accelerating towards each other. I like to point out to you the fact that we think that large bodies accelerate, or magnets accelerate towards each other, but in fact they don't accelerate towards each other. They accelerate towards, remember everything, everything is a pressure gradient, everything is pressure mediation. What's pressure mediation? Very simple, you pull the plug on your drain on your bathtub, the water is going to go down your bathtub, right? Magnets are accelerating towards counter space, however what's accelerating them is certainly not magnetism, it's dielectric voidance or dielectric acceleration. Increasing inertia. They're not accelerating towards each other. As I'll point out to you in the link below, you'll notice that the supercomputer generated image of two large bodies accelerating towards each other, and has actually been witnessed empirically, do not accelerate directly at each other, but at a null point between each other. Now that's of course assuming that both are the exact same mass. So, we have two large bodies accelerating towards each other. Except they're not accelerating towards each other at all, but rather at a null point between the equilibrium of the mass between body A and body B. Magnetism and gravity, or what we call magnetic acceleration, or actually what the conventional person, excuse me, I have to stick my brain in the conventional thought, thinks of uh, magnetic attraction. It's not magnetic attraction. It is a sink in counter space. Let's take a look again. Okay, here's the one magnet, here's the other. Okay, you, you see the smaller black dot, the second to the left of the far right? Take the far right one here. You see that? We see a pole, if you will, but it's not a pole. A magnet doesn't have poles, and I explain that in my book. You see the small black dot? Not to the far left, not the one right next to that, but the small black? There is nothing there. Both of these magnets, magnet A, magnet B, are not accelerating towards each other. They're accelerating towards this null point right here, that small black circle. Same thing as large bodies. The exact same thing as large bodies. This is what the conventional person would call magnetic attraction. Okay, let me flip these away. And let's take a look at something else. And I'll save it for another video. I'm going to see if you could figure it out. Okay, here we have one magnet, right? Nice and bright, isn't it? Yes, take a look at one pole. Pretty bright, yeah. Okay, now here we have 
Two magnets with like polarity. This is what the common human being thinks is magnetic repulsion going on. Let me test right now. Yeah, this is what the common human being calls magnetic repulsion. Okay, now watch what happens in the center as the luminal velocity increases. The closer I get, uh, I'm actually having to apply quite a bit of strength. You see how bright the center void is around it? as opposed to either far end and far left or far right. Do you see that? Notice as the luminal intensity increases. The closer I get, and I'm having to apply all the force I can, I'm still only getting them about a quarter inch apart. You see how bright that spot is? What do you make of that? Why am I seeing so much LED illumination being dropped 90 degrees perpendicular, <clears throat> the right hand rule, towards the camera or towards your eye. Why? Why? It's really simple. If you think like Mother Nature, not that Mother Nature is a person, I just use that term conventionally, you would understand what's going on. Everything is simplex pressure mediation. Very simplex. This is a little cube magnet. Yeah, a little cylinder magnet. Now let's uh, bring them. Um, there we go. Let's try it again. Now this is acceleration again. Isn't it? There we go. Hold on a second. Anyway, it's hard to actually maneuver these underneath the ferro cell. There we go. Magnetic repulsion again force and motion. What we're actually seeing is a result in a force and motion at 90 degrees perpendicular to the plane of increasing force. I'm actually having to apply as much force as my scrawny little arms could stand towards pushing these together as close as they can stand. Why are you seeing so much light here? Why? We have obviously increasing force. This is, by the way, is how a rail gun works except that uses electromagnets and I'm just using regular conventional magnets. You know how a rail gun works? Right now, 90 degrees perpendicular to the force vectors, the multiplicative, not additive, but multiplicative force vectors applied, we have this increasing luminal intensity where the internal LED rings are being directed directly at the camera lens. So, Let's talk about this in the next video, and let's see what we could decipher using simplex logic, Aristotelian thinking, and uh, platonic retroduction. Retroduction, okay? That's the ancient physical dialectic of Platonism. It's called retroduction, or apophoticism. Okay? Thanks for watching, and keep an open mind, okay? Bye.